Now, a couple Wii U game updates coming in 2015. There's new content headed to Splatoon, and we've prepared a video to showcase it. Please take a look. That's not ink in your eyes. You just got your first look at some new stages and equipment we're adding with future updates. Museum de Alfonsino features five revolving obstacles in the center of the stage. The key to victory? Working all the angles these obstacles provide. Now it is a museum, so many infamous paintings and artifacts from the squid world are on display. Here's another new stage, Mahi Mahi Resort. It looks like a poolside resort hotel, so it may be a little intimidating to water-shy inklings. However, in the latter half of the match, the water level drops, exposing more turf for the hosing. That'll make it tough to tell which team will win, right up until the very last second. Did I say an update was coming in the future? Well, the future is now. An update will be available today at 5 p.m. Pacific time with over 40 new pieces of gear, including more winter items and some slick bandanas. And the new stage, Museum de Alfonsino, will be added tomorrow at 6 p.m. Pacific time. Splatoon will continue to offer more updates, at least until next January. These updates will include new stages, gear, and adjustments to the gameplay balance. As of this update, we've added new multiplayer modes like Rainmaker and Tower Control, 8 new maps, 27 new weapons, and more than 80 new pieces of gear, along with team matchmaking and private matches, all at no additional charge. And with the launch of the Splatnet website, you can now track progress and stats for you and your friends. The competition in Splatoon is as hot and exciting as ever. And to show you just how hot the competition can be, we're going to be holding an official Nintendo Treehouse Splatoon tournament this December, and we're going to live stream it on our official Twitch and YouTube channels, as well as live.nintendo.com. The tournament will feature teams made up entirely of Nintendo Treehouse staff, and will introduce a variety of potential options for tournament rules, as well as details on how to set up your own tournaments, both locally and online.